fuel pump inertia switch. There's one in this car, or there was, and uh, they're, they're in a lot of different types of cars, uh, Ford and Mercury especially. Um, this switch immobilizes the fuel pump upon impact. So if you're using all the original wiring and fuel pump, you definitely need to take this out of there. Well, this is a 95 Escort, and the switch for this car is located right here. It's the same for the two-door version and the wagon. The, they're all right here at the rear uh, passenger strut tower. As you can see here, a hit as simple as this is enough to immobilize your car. Now you see with the engine running, the button will pop, cut power to the fuel pump, and kill the engine. One hit with the hammer. So to immobilize this switch, you need to cut the wires, and then join the blue and the black wire together. Those colors will vary from car to car and it's real easy to figure out which wires need to be joined together. You just troubleshoot really, you can, uh, but there's normally three wires and one of them is a smaller diameter. You just join the two that are the larger ones. Um, and that normally works for me. I haven't, uh, I can't think of a time where that didn't work for me, but um, 95 Escort anyways, blue wire, black wire, run them together. Right. You need to try to start it up. Anytime you do any sort of wiring on these cars, you want to make sure it starts after you're done. I need to make sure that I hooked up the right wires. If it starts up and runs and stays running, then I did it right. If I didn't do it right, the starter will engage, but the engine won't fire. switch in it and if you're preparing your car for a demolition derby make sure you take it out or maybe you're just wondering why your car won't start after a minor fender bender it might be the inertia switch just find it and push the button it might start after all wouldn't you be surprised all right that's all I have for you guys thanks for tuning in rate comment subscribe and uh, till next time Inertia.